Aye, aye. I want you to stop persecuting Martin. <laughs> I'd stay out of it if I were you, love. I can't. Right, well, if we're talking persecution, then uh, my 18-year-old daughter's been to Ellen back. Yeah, and so is Martin. Only his hell continues. <laughs> That's the best news I've had all year. Now, if you'd just like to get out of my house, please. Martin isn't cheating on Katie. Oh, it's no good trying to protect him now. I heard you and Sally. What? In the Rovers, you were having a go at her, telling her to end it, telling, telling her to go back to her husband. And did Martin's name crop up while you were eavesdropping? You were telling Sally to finish with him. Did you hear Martin's name? No. No. Sally is having an affair. But not with Martin. Oh, my God. Behave. They've been having it away for ages. And if you'd eavesdrop for a bit longer, you'd be better informed. And a baby wouldn't have been aborted. What have I done? She's got to turn a blind eye. She's got a kid to him. Look, Ange, I know what I saw. What you saw was a platonic hug between two old friends. Two old lovers. There's nothing going on. Just get out, will you? You might want it to be true, but it's not. Martin's a good man. But what have we done? The right what? thing by our daughter. What am I going to say to her? No! Gail reckons Platt's whiter than white. Well, it is a surprise. Oh, pull your head out of your backside for once, Tommy, will you? There is nothing going on between him and Sally. And best of all, there's not going on between him and our baby girl. Oh, well, it's win-win all the way then, isn't it? Yep. Bottom line is, we've done our Katie a favour. By lying to her. She would never have believed you in a month of Sundays. You ain't mine so much that you can't even see straight. It was a team effort. Least of all this way, she's not tied to him for the next 18 years because of some kid. How a grandkid, an innocent life. You suddenly found your rosary beads. I thought they were long gone. I did what I thought were right for Katie. Snap. She's got plenty of time for kids. She's still a kid herself. But she relies on me for the truth. I'm supposed to be the sane one. But no, you wore me down, didn't you? Chipping away day by day until I was as paranoid as you. And once I bought into your madness, then I as good as signed that baby's death warrant. Fine. Blame me. I'm happy to take the credit. You don't even know what you've done, you're that twisted. We only live round here because of you. She only met him because of you. Oh, here we go. Oh, well. Sorry, St Angela, but twisted Tommy's got to get back to work. Abortions don't come cheap, you know. If you hadn't been so hell-bent on splitting them up, they would have done it of their own accord months and ago. And if it had to be for witness protection scheme, we would have been split up years ago. Well, it's not too late, Tom. No, 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 but no. Where would I be, eh, without me bigoted, violent pig of an husband by me side, me moral compass? Oh, stick a cake in it, you fat bitch. You drop dead! What's... what's going on? What is it? Mum, what is it? Well, the, the thing is... What I overheard in the pub... What I thought I overheard... What? Tell me. I thought Gail meant Martin. I just assumed that... What is it? done a terrible thing. Oh, Martin... Martin and... He ain't seen Sally. He ain't seen anybody. I've got it so wrong. I am so sorry. But you said... I know I did, love, and I, and I believed it. And I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have told you if I didn't. What you said? I know, love, I didn't... <laughs> I tell him I'd cut my tongue out if I could undo what I've done. <laughs> I was just killed up here, <laughs> Oh, my God. He'll never forgive me. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my. And it's me. Mm. Wake up, it's me. Martin, will you wake up? What? I've 
made a terrible mistake. <laughs> I've been so stupid. Oh, God, it's so good to touch you. I am so sorry. Just go home, Katie. I am home. <laughs> Come on. Oh. I have made a terrible mistake. I know it's all lies. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't believe that I believed it. And I would have killed that baby for nothing. And you must hear me. I mean, really hear me. But please don't. Please forgive. Please, because I am, I am so, so sorry. I just, I, I can't live without you, mine. Are you laughing? You were sorry. Oh, yeah, but you won't believe. Right. Only I'm sorry when I, when I forget me bin bags. I'm sorry that I never learned to play the piano. I'm sorry that United so Beckham. But you, you're sorry that you fell for a load of evil, malicious lies. You're sorry that you dragged my name through the mud. <laughs> and you're sorry you've aborted our baby as my punishment beating. Don't. You know, maybe I'm just unlucky in love. <laughs> well, there's an understatement. I know, I know that I've hurt you, but we can start again. Kids, eh? <laughs> Who's shack up with her? Only a total loser. No, I'm the loser. Oh, no. No. I'm the loser. Please don't, I'm sorry. I've got I'm a big not... fat L on my head and I never clocked it. Hey? <laughs> loser, loser. Just how much do you think a man can lose? Will you stop being like this? I'm trying to apologise. It's over, <laughs> little girl. Oh, Lisa, please. That wasn't a baby. <laughs> it was a dolly. And this flat was your Wendy house. In <laughs> Never Neverland. Yeah, well, never again. My mum and dad thought he was eating salad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, your dad. He always said he'd destroy me. <laughs> And he's nothing if not a man of his word, eh? Rock on, Tommy. <laughs> hey, let's drink to that, hey? Rock on, Tommy. You lied to me. Not on purpose, we never. Look at you. Business as usual. Cos that's the way forward, love. Life goes on. Not for my baby, it doesn't. Oh, you great pig, you! Hey, hey, come here. Come on, let's get you on, eh? Oh, no. Mine is my hope. It's my life. Come and sit down. Come here. Listen to me. <laughs> Your life is going to be 200% better with him out of picture. I hate you! Oh, shh. Oh, it's going to be all right, darling. It's going to be better than ever. Dad's on her. So, what am I meant to do now, then, eh? Go forwards in life. Yeah. Yeah, with Martin. I'm going to get him back. Brilliant. I will, you know. Just look at when Sarah's baby died. I thought that was me and him finished forever. But you can't just turn your feelings off like a tap, can you? Oh, no. He thought he hated me. But the truth is, he couldn't live without me. He thinks he hates me, but, you know, give him a few months. A few years, even, if that's what it takes. Cos he will miss me, you know. We love each other. And that just doesn't go cos of an abortion. <laughs> I am sorry to disappoint you. 
And you have got to forget how much you hate him and focus on how much I love him. Cos you owe me that, Dad! You and Mum owe me that big time. I can see why you're university material. All that drive and ambition. I mean, most kids with a brain like yours are planning trips around the world. But what's in your diary, eh? Three years hanging around Roy's Rolls waiting for the forgiveness of a pervert. Do you who, call him that? Who's brought you not but misery since day one? Now, that's what I call a game plan. I am in this mess cos you fed me lies! We threw you a lifeline! I haven't even said you're sorry. You're sorry for what? For lying about Marty, for making me kill my baby. I'm not sorry. I'm not a hypocrite. <gasps> you poisoned me against him. Look, if Platt hadn't have been so chummy with Sally Webster, I wouldn't have been suspicious in the first place. He played right into my hands. <gasps> oh, my God! Can, can you hear yourself? Look, all I've ever done is put you first. You're my flesh and blood. My baby was your flesh and blood. But you couldn't get me booked in that clinic quick enough! It was the lesser of the evils. There's no point hanging around. In case I change my mind? Partly, yeah. <sighs> Look, I'm only being honest. You need someone who tells it like it is. Yeah, but you tell it like it isn't. You got it wrong. A matter of life and death and you're not even sorry. It was my baby too. Half Harris. And half Platt. You'd be tied to that beast forever. This way, you're free. Free to top myself? Oh, don't talk daft. You have destroyed my life! I had a future! A man I loved, a baby I'd long for! It was a fantasy, you're a bloody kid! What went through your head when you saw him and Sally, eh? When you thought they were at it? Was it, oh my god, poor Katie? Oh, bingo! Platt is history. Platt's history, and I was right all along! I wanted to kill him. No change there, then. For cheating on you. For cheating on my little girl. I bet it was all your Christmases. It was like winning the lottery. Oh, my God! I gave you information and you made a decision. Oh, yeah. I knew that once you got rid of his kid, it'd be curtains for you and Platt. Oh, you'd keep going back to him because you're a glutton for punishment. But I knew that'd be as far as he was concerned. You'd kill this kid. Finito. Look, I'm just being honest. You deserve the truth. Truth is... You're probably getting a little too old for his taste now, anyway. Stop it. You know, I thought it was Sally. But part of me was always wondering, was it Rosie? Stop it! Well, it's not beyond the realms, is it? I mean, everybody knows he likes a bit of school. Oh. What have you done? Serves him right. Tommy. Tommy. You got a taste of your own medicine. Okay, I don't want to hear it, Dad! I'm sick of you interfering in my life! I'm sick of it! D Tommy, wake up. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this, Tom. He's not dead. No, he's not dead. I hardly touched him. You killed him? No! No, I'll ring an ambulance. I'll ring an ambulance and they'll be all right. Go on, then. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Is he not breathing? No! Ring an ambulance! Oh, God! No, Dad! No, Dad! Dad, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. How did this happen? It wasn't me. I saw you. I mean, it wasn't... How did it come to this kid? It was an accident! I saw you! It was! I saw I you! I didn't mean to kill him! I just lost my temper! He lied! He split me and Martin up with his lies! You helped him do it! I didn't We never... thought it was the truth! Well, I'd have never have believed him if it wasn't for you! We thought it was the truth! Yeah, well, it wasn't! And I 
should have known. Why did that only persuade me to get rid of my man? And all the time, all he cared about, all he ever cared about, was blame me and mine. Oh, if you hadn't kept into me. Don't you, don't you blame it for this. You just killed the only man I have ever loved. The only man I have loved since I was 16 years old. You look, no, at, no, look, no, look at what you've done. Sorry, and no, what am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna tell the police. No, oh, you ran them. Well, I'm gonna tell them first. Oh, well, it was an accident. I just, he was here in the moment, uh, like when he punched out Craig. Oh, oh God, Craig, what am I gonna tell him? Oh. Sweet mother of God, how am I gonna explain this to him? I just lost my temper. Like when you slap me, remember? You with me and Dad with Craig, it, it's the same. It happens to us all. It's just, it's just... Yeah, it's just, uh, just that you had that thing in your hand. It, it's not the same. It's nowhere near the same. How could you think? How could you not realise? You realize? can't! I'm gonna shop fuse and I'm sorry. But we all know where we're going you from. Just stop it. Stop it. <laughs> just stop it. You just shut up and let me think. <laughs> All he ever wanted to do was protect you. And if the sight of you, this little girl, still at school, living with a man twice your age, so that made his blood boil and he found that hard to deal with, so what? Who could blame him? He had fire in his belly. And he loved his family. He just tried to do what were right. And if he were wrong about Martin and Sally, then he were right about Martin and you. You should never have had anything to do with that man, Katie. And I wish it were him lying in her. I wish it were him. And I wish you'd never set eyes on my plan. <laughs> Martin, it's Rachel Clements. Just wondering why you look this way. Let me short down here. Look at me, it's alright. Give me a. <sighs> Sorry, Rach. Yeah, yeah. Look, I won't, I won't be coming in tonight. I'm, I'm not feeling too good. Where are they? They should be here by now. The ambulance should be here. Why ain't it here? I didn't ring them. Why not? I need to think first. Oh, and they could have saved him! They could be here now, saving his life! No. They could be putting that, that zappy thing on his chest or something and they could have saved him! It's too late for an ambulance, Katie. No, it isn't! God, you have wasted precious minutes of you stupid cow! If he's dead, it's your fault. He's dead. I've got his brains all over my cardigan. You deliberately let him lie there. There's nothing we could have done. We could have saved we him. We couldn't have. You know. Because I felt the life leaving Katie. <laughs> they bring people back from the dead all the time. Go ring an ambulance. No. no. and thinks he can just disappear and then one day waltz back and acts as if nothing's happened. Shh. What? Did you hear something there? No. Ah, must be in the cat. Yeah, and just what Mum thinks she's doing, I don't know. Watched a man die before, Katie. I rang an ambulance that night. And I watched as a man died in my arms. And as I held him, the pub round me emptied. 
regulars who'd stood at the bar every day for 20 years suddenly went home to their wives. <laughs> Staff had got paid cash in hand, got the coat. And by the time that man breathed his last breath and I knew it was his last breath. And there were only the boss and me left and she were upstairs at the time. When I rang that ambulance without even thinking about it, that's when our troubles really started, Kay. So this time, before we do anything else, we've got to think this through. We've got to think and get our story straight, OK? Refused to testify. Never mind justice, do what's right for us, for the family. That was his attitude. But once I've made my mind up, he respected it and tried to support me. But the worse it got, the more you and Craig complained about missing your mates and changing schools, the more danger we were in. And that the more I started to wonder if he hadn't been right. I mean, I should have put the family first. I should have kept my mouth shut. I should have listened to him. Yeah, well, you didn't. And here we are. So, what are we going to do? Well, what would he want us to do? I've, I've got to give myself up. But you'd go to jail. I'd lose you both. A husband and a daughter gone in one night. It might only be for a few years. He wouldn't want you to go to jail. What other choice is there? If I run away, well, they'll catch me. Oh, and Craig, what'll it do to him? If this comes out, what, what'll it do to him? Mum, I'm not going to get away with it. I know. Uh, there must be fingerprints. There must be DNA and stuff no, all no, over the did place. Did anyone see you coming in? It doesn't matter. There'll be loads of evidence I was here, that we were both here. But it's your dad's work. We've got every right to be here. We used to call in all the time. What are you saying? Did anyone see you coming in tonight? No. Oh, I don't think so. Right, there were nobody on the street when I came round. Oh, you can't be serious. OK, what's the point of you going to jail? <laughs> Your dad wouldn't have wanted that. He'd have died a hundred times over to stop that happening to you. <laughs> no. No, we can't do this. <laughs> It's wrong. I'm trying to get away with it, it just feels wrong. Doing it in the first place were wrong. It was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. And if I tell that to the police... You hit him from behind. In a temper, but this... this Johnny weed out of it. it. It's wrong. OK. <laughs> Call the police. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably for the best. Yeah. You go to jail. You serve your time with all the others. With all the other killers. All the drug addicts and prostitutes and robbers, it's no more than you deserve. Yeah, I know. Yeah, might help me make up for it all. Might help you feel a bit better. Because God knows, Katie, that's all that's ever mattered to this family is what you feel and what you want. So you serve your time. You do your penance. Ah, Craig finds out that his sister's killed his dad. Everyone else finds out uh, and all, and I'm left all on my own. It's probably for the best, yeah. What else can we do? No, you go on, you make that <laughs> phone call and hand yourself in. Leave me to get on with it. I'll bury him. I'll deal with Craig. You go on trial, I'll sit and watch. You go to jail, I'll come visit you. Uh, just do it! Do it! I've lost my husband, I may as well lose you and all. I've destroyed my son in the process. This will destroy him. Yeah, and you won't be there to help me put him back together. Would you want me? Yes, you are my daughter. What else have I got left? <laughs> <laughs> So, so you want me to get away with it? What makes you think you're ever going to get away with it? Well, are you confusing me now? You're going to suffer for what you've done here tonight, Katie. <laughs> We're all going to suffer. This is going to haunt us till the day we die, and we will never get over this. <laughs> I know. And I'll never forgive you for it. I know. Or myself. <laughs> because it won't for me. <laughs> There'd be the whole width of the Pennines between you and Martin Platt and my Tommy would still be alive. So 
What do you want me to do? Look. <laughs> 99 times out of 100, we wouldn't have a choice. But because of what's happened, because of our history, maybe, just maybe this time we have. Why? When Tony Morgan got sent down, when I testified against him, he threatened to have us all killed. Yeah? yeah. We'd been on witness protection. The brothers came looking for us, found us, and shot Tommy. Someone's already tried to kill him. He's got enemies, and who's to say it won't them again? But they're all in jail. Not them all, no. They're a big family. Who's to say it won't some cousin trying to make a name for himself? Who's to say it won't a robbery gone wrong? It could have been anything. If we can get back to the house without being spotted, who knows? Worse. I'm sorry. There'll be fingerprints everywhere. Well, as long as they're not on that and on the door handle, we'll be okay, I think. What do you mean, you think? I mean, I think. I don't know. I think. Okay. okay. Is there anyone there? If someone sees him, I've got to confess. I've got to. Okay. <laughs> if we can get home without being spotted, there's no going back. You understand? <laughs> right, go on. Katie, go on. <laughs> You wouldn't want her locked up, would you? And I don't know what else to do. Oh, hurry up. 